morning everyone it is thursday december 17th and it is thankful thursday daily devotion i'm gonna start off by reading psalm 29 it's a little longer but i really liked it so i'm going to read the whole thing ascribe to the lord you heavenly beings ascribe to the lord glory and strength ascribe to the lord the glory due his name worship the lord in the splendor of his holiness the voice of the Lord is over the waters. The glory, uh, uh, God of glory thunders. The Lord thunders over the mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is majestic. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. The Lord breaks in pieces in the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon leap like a calf, Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord strikes with flashes of lightning. The voice of the Lord shakes the desert. The Lord shakes the desert of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord twists the oaks and strips the forest bare. And in his temple all cry glory. The Lord sits enthroned over the water. The Lord is enthroned as king forever. The Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. I like that, that uh, psalm. I don't know, it just struck me today. Don't know why, but sometimes that happens. But um, when I, I love coming on Thursdays and thinking of what I'm thankful for and then asking what you all are thankful for. Uh, for me, um, you know, I think, again, most of you all probably know that on Saturday we found out that there were kids in uh, Maddie's class that uh, had COVID um, and that we've been on locked down for this week. Uh, man, Sunday was is, was interesting, uh, trying to figure out church. Um, it was definitely hard, uh, but that's what I'm first thankful for. I am thankful that there are competent people in this church who took a real big curveball at the 11th hour, and we made sure that worship happened. And it was a good worship service. I really enjoyed it. Uh, there were a couple little blips. Um, and I'm thankful that I have a congregation that's willing to deal with that. Um, but I'll tell you, we got it out and I'm so thankful for that. Uh, I was so thankful for everyone involved in the service, um, who were willing to, to deal with the fact that the pastor was stuck at home and trying to figure out how to zoom their, uh, parts of the service in and be live with everybody. Um, the second thing I'm thankful about it is, uh, so this week, um, we've all been pretty much stuck at home. Uh, they did make Steph go into the hospital, which I thought was a little funny yesterday. Um, but really for the rest of the week, uh, the four of us have been together. Um, and I've enjoyed it. Uh, I, even though we've all, I've been working, Steph's been working, the kids have been doing school, you know, we've been trying to figure everything out. Um, it's just nice to all be in the same house. I'll just just with my favorite people in the world that we got to spend extra time together that we didn't think we were going to have. Uh, it's been really fun when the kids come out of their rooms for lunch and, uh, you know, start grazing and we get a chance to talk about what we've been doing in the mornings. Um, it's, it's just a, a time I wouldn't have had. And, and, uh, as my kids keep getting taller I, and older, I guess both, uh, you know, it's times I'll never have back, and I'm really, really thankful for this unexpected week together. Um, so that's what I'm thankful. Oh, and I'm also thankful that none of us are sick at this point. Um, uh, I am going to get tested tomorrow to make sure that I can be at church on Sunday. Uh, hopefully the test will come back, but I think it, uh, even if, if, if we haven't, as long as there are no symptoms, I think I'm going to be safe. But present at church on Sunday. Um, but I am very thankful that none of us are sick or showing any signs of COVID. Uh, I'll keep the prayers going because it can take, you know, a little while before symptoms uh, show up. So keep sending your prayers if you don't mind. Um, but uh, I am thankful that we're all well. Um, so what are you thankful for? Uh, especially as we are eight days from Christmas. Uh, a week from Christmas Eve? Uh, I'd love to hear it. Let us pray. Holy Lord, thank you for this morning. Um, thank you for 
uh, extra time with family has truly been the biggest gift of COVID has been the extra time with family. Um, at least the ones we live with. Uh, thank you that we have a church that has competent people who are willing to work and make sure uh, crazy stuff happens and that we have a congregation that's willing to go with the flow when uh, unexpected happens. Uh, Lord, I lift up all the thanksgiving uh, uh, for all the people who are watching this. Um, and I, 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 thank, I, I join them in gratitude and thanksgiving. Holy One, we ask this in your name. Amen.